Hey, I'm Dave Asprey, founder of Bulletproof and a longtime meditator. I've been to Tibet to learn meditation with the masters, done ayahuasca in Peru with shamans, and spent 20 years regularly studying meditation with neurofeedback on my head, even started a neuroscience company focused on that. And one of the most powerful things you can do to accelerate your meditation isn't glue electricity things to your head, it's to learn how to breathe effectively. And there's one breath that stands out more than any other for going to sleep and for deep relaxation quickly. You can stack this kind of breathing with other techniques I've trained like box breathing. This technique is called ujjayi breathing. What it is, is something that's almost a snore, but not quite. What you do is you close your mouth and you breathe in through your nose. When you breathe in through your nose, it normally just sounds like air, but you wanna almost get to the point where you're snoring, but not quite. And it should sound like it does when you put a seashell up to your ear. So what you do is you can close your eyes or keep them open, but it works better with your eyes closed. Close your mouth and then breathe in. And you're constricting your throat slightly so that you have that deep sound. A meditation teacher or a yoga instructor can tell you exactly whether you're doing it right based on the sound. But you can learn this at home. You know you've gone too far if it sounds like this because you're basically snoring. You wanna be right on the edge of that, but not quite there, so. And when you do this right, you'll find that your abdomen moves forward. So, you can actually feel your hand move if it's on your abdomen. If instead you do it like this, and it's only in the top of your lungs, it doesn't work as well. So when you lay down at night, if you're having a hard time going to bed, there's thoughts racing through your mind. You just do this breath. Breathe in for five seconds, and you can breathe out normally, or you can breathe out with an ujjayi breath as well. Either one works. Slow, deep in-breath with a slightly constricted throat completely changes how your body reacts. If you're measuring your heart rate variability, you can see changes in it, but more importantly, you fall asleep. So there you have it the ujjayi breath. You can use it for stress reduction before a meeting and you can use it to go to bed at night. It's way more effective than a normal breath and it's more effective because when you constrict your throat like that, it puts your body in a relaxed mode faster.